Hi, I'm Mr. Williamson, and this video is about enzymes. Most of the time I talk about enzymes during the second unit when we talk about chemistry, biochemistry, um, and, and maybe that's when you're watching it, but in this year where I put it into the um, uh, respiration energy unit because enzymes are what drive the entire process of both respiration, uh, uh, photosynthesis, and next unit, uh, DNA synthesis and DNA replication. So enzymes are extremely important. Let's get started. Before we do, make sure you take good notes. Cornell style would probably a good, be a good idea if how most students are successful with that. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the Ed puzzle questions or uh, ask me in class. Um, here we go. First of all, and I'm gonna cover each one of these in depth. Uh, enzymes are usually a protein they act as a catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that speeds up a reaction by lowering the activation energy but does not get used up in the process. And the substance that the enzyme works on is called the substrate, the results of the products. Let's dive deeper in each of those. All right. First of all, it's usually a protein. Quick review. Proteins, as you remember, are a uh, uh, biochemical that has a central carbon surrounded by a, a, a carboxyl group on one side, a nitrogen uh, group on the other, and then the, the R uh, group, the side chain. This is the, there are 20 side chains, 20 things that make each amino acid different, all right? Or each, yeah, each amino acid different. And it's the string of amino acids that we put together that makes the protein. Enzymes are proteins. So they're, they're made of amino, chains of amino acids, all right? It acts as a catalyst. So this is where uh, you probably ought to start taking good notes because catalysts are kind of important. Um, a catalyst is a substance that speeds up a reaction but does not get used up in the process. What do I mean by that? An example of a catalyst would be something like a catalytic converter in a car. Um, in a catalytic converter, you have the hot exhaust coming in from this direction, all right? And it contains all kinds of things we don't want in the atmosphere. Um, C somethings, H somethings, long chains of hydrocarbons, or lots of carbon uh, monoxide, things that are not good in the atmosphere. And in each catalytic converter are catalysts. One is made of pl uh, platinum and rhodium, and the other one is platinum and palladium. All right, and they're in the exhaust system. So as the exhaust goes through, it breaks these things down to well, it, it, it speeds up the reaction of the, the, the breakdown of these products. So when it comes out of the car, what we have is nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water. Nothing real toxic. Carbon dioxide we could probably lessen for climate change reasons, but other than that, nothing real major. So in the catalytic converter are these two catalysts, the, the platinum rhodium and the platinum palladium, that speed up a reaction, but they don't get used up in that reaction. That's why you very rarely have to replace a catalytic converter in your car because it's, um, it, it never, never gets used up. It just speeds the reaction up. It's a catalyst. Okay, and then if we're looking at a little more detail, it's a substance that speeds up a reaction, a catalyst, a substance that speeds up a reaction by lowering the activation energy, but doesn't get used up in the process. What is lowering the, the activation energy mean? Okay, well, think of it as activation energy is the energy that you need to get a reaction started. All right, so here you have a gentleman who, for some reason, is going to roll this rock up over the hill and down on the other side to position B. All right, this would be the reaction. This, this whole, this part right here would be the reaction, all right? The, that, that we're talking about. So this is just a, 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 an example, all right? Activation energy is the energy it takes him to raise that rock up on the other side of the hill, enough to get it going up to the top. Once it gets to the top, the reaction will take place. It'll roll downhill. But he has to get that reaction started somehow. That is called the activation energy, the energy that is required to start the reaction, all right? Um, the substance that an enzyme works on is called the substrate. The results are the products. So going back to the example of rolling the rock up, 
all right you can see that the, the, this this kid is going to start the reaction add energy into the, the reaction to get it to the top of the hill but once it's at the top it can roll down all right so the 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 substrate is the rock that's the 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 thing that the enzyme is going to be working on the products are when it gets going so fast or it reaches the bottom that it actually breaks into little pieces that's the products the products are the end result all right so we have to add energy we have to add energy into we have to add energy into the reaction to get it to where it'll happen automatically and we end up with the products here you see a vending machine of drinks and you're going to go in and uh, buy one. They're a dollar. You can see at the bottom down here, drinks are a dollar. All right. So that's the activation energy. So you, you put a, 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 a quarter in and you put a quarter in, but we have not reached activation energy yet. You can't buy a drink. You put another quarter in, still 50 cents, won't buy you a drink. Put another quarter in, now you're at 75 cents, still won't buy you a drink. Finally, you put that fourth quarter in and you get and you get your drink out. All right. So the activation energy is all of this energy over here. This is the energy that it took to to get the reaction started. Once the reaction starts, you get all this out. Now, in this graph, that line right there is the, the, the start. That's where the energy from from here up. It's called activation energy. Energy is a sign, symbol delta, the, a, a triangle. All right. Now, and you got extra. You actually got more energy. You got a drink. And you're going to say that that drink was worth a dollar. No, it's not. It's worth more than a dollar. Because you had a dollar and you traded it for the drink. Now, how much is it worth to you? I don't know. How hot's the day? How thirsty are you? If somebody walked up to you right now and said, hey, I'll give you a dollar fifty for that drink because it's the last one in the machine, would you give it to them for a dollar fifty? What about two dollars? What about three dollars? What about five dollars? At some point, you'd say, okay, I'll give you the, the drink for that money. That's the value of the drink. So not only did you get your dollar back, okay, not only did you get your dollar back, but you got the extra down here. This is called free energy. That's free energy. So you put a dollar in, you get your drink, and you get, well, you get your dollar back. That's what you pay, put in, and you get the value of the drink added. Now, I happen to be standing there with a magic coin. And I go, hey, what are you doing? And you say, I'm buying a drink. I said, hold on, let me put my magic coin in. So I put my magic coin in, and you put in, you're 25 cents, nothing happens. You put in another 25 cents, nothing happens. You put in the third 25 cents, 75 total, all of a sudden, you get that drink. I've lowered the activation energy. I've made that drink cheaper for you to, to get. That means that you still get the same amount of free energy down here, but I didn't, it didn't cost you as much to get it. And when we're all done, not only do you get your drink, but I get my coin back. So how long can I keep doing this? Well, every person that comes up, if I put my coin in, they get a drink. They get a drink. They come up, 75 cents, my coin, get a drink. My coin, 75 cents, they get a drink. More people come up. They keep coming up until what happens? Until the machine runs out of soda. The enzyme will keep working. It doesn't get used up in the reaction. It will keep working until the, the machine runs out of soda. The coin will always come back. I will always have the coin. You can always keep paying 75 cents. What makes it stop? The machine runs out of soda. It doesn't work anymore. Enzymes work the same way. All right? Enzymes work by lowering the activation energy. So we start out here, without an enzyme, we do this, all right? 
This is the activation energy. This is the free energy. That's the profit. Think of it that way. That's the profit. With the enzyme, I lower that activation energy. The reaction starts quicker. We get the same amount. Okay? And it's reusable. So that enzyme, once it breaks down what it's going to do, can go back to the next thing and do it again and do it again. Enzymes work on shape. So I could have a substrate down here, the thing it's working on, and I'm going to make it There's my substrate, All right? Along comes my enzyme here. Enzymes are very specific. That's why the sequence of amino acids in the protein is so important because it gives the enzyme its shape and it fits like a glove over a certain shaped molecule. There's my enzyme. So it's gonna fit onto that particular shape and cause something to happen. In this case, these are the products, and this is still the enzyme, which can then go back and do it again. All right, let's review. Enzymes are proteins, usually, in our list class, they're proteins. They are a catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that works on a substrate, lowers the activation energy, therefore speeding up the chemical reaction, does not get used up in the chemical reaction, all right, so it can be reused. And the products are the results. So if, like I just demonstrated, if I'm breaking something up, the enzyme can come along, break it up, and now I have something broken, and the enzyme can go back and reuse itself. The other thing to remember is about the activation energy. This is kind of an important graph, all right? Without an enzyme, it looks something like that. With an enzyme, the lower activation energy looks something like that. So it lowers the activation energy. Again, remember, this is the activation energy. That's the activation energy. This is the free energy. One more time. It's a catalyst. It's a protein. It's a protein catalyst that lowers the activation energy, therefore speeding up the reaction without getting used up. The substrate is the thing that the enzyme is working on. The products are the results. If you have any questions, make sure you ask. Make sure you put it in the Ed Puzzle. Make sure you ask in class, wherever. All right? Hopefully you took good notes. Good luck.